You never feel the way I feel You don't know if my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. If you are new here, my name is Zizi and on this channel we make lifestyle content mainly in the form of vlogs but every now and again, girl, we branch out like we are doing today and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another plus size Shein try on haul. I loved my first Shein order so, so much. And I looked at my cousin and I thought, you know what? The girl needs some pajamas, okay? My first try on haul, which I filmed for you guys on right here on YouTube. Um, I'll link it somewhere here in the cards. But my very first try on haul, I was so impressed with Shein. I thought to myself, I have other needs that need to be fulfilled. I need some pajamas and I need some loungewear. So I went ahead and made an order and I thought, you know what, maybe the girlies need some pajamas and some loungewear too. And so, hence we are here today. So today's video is going to be a plus size she and try and haul. I'm going to be reviewing the pajamas as well as the loungewear sets that I bought. I bought five pairs of pajamas. This one that I'm wearing here now, this bright, bright red one is one of those, but I bought five pairs of pajamas and then two sets of loungewear. And I also ordered um, some stockings, but I think I'll include those items in another um, try and haul today's one is just the pajamas and the loungewear but before we get into the actual try on haul i just want to chat to you guys through the payment process the logistics the shipping the customs etc so i made this order on the 25th of april and it arrived at my doorstep on the 11th of may so in total it took about 5 plus 11 took about 16 days this was my third sheet in order and this has actually been the fastest one my package was shipped through buffalo logistics and i find that buffalo logistics is a little bit more efficient than than uh, what's the other one is it fedex or the DHL can't remember but she and does use one of these other big Korea companies and I have found that when my when my package comes through Buffalo it tends to be a little bit quicker but it came through Buffalo logistics and they delivered it straight to my door the value of my purchase was 2,800 Rand but I used a 20% discount code and I ended up paying around 2,200 and then my customs for the order was 550 Rand and so in total the order plus the customs was about 2.7 2.8 and then i didn't have to pay any shipping because i think if you order above a certain threshold i think it's about a thousand rand you don't pay for shipping in order to make my payment i used paypal so there's two ways which you can pay for your purchase on Shein. you can pay with like a credit card or a debit card where you like insert your card details and then they kind of take the money from your bank account whether it's your check account or your credit card account so that's one way to make a purchase. The other way is to use PayPal. So if you have a, pa a PayPal account, I would actually recommend that you rather pay with PayPal instead of using your debit card. Because with PayPal, if your order doesn't come or if there's anything missing from your order, you're actually able to lodge a complaint. And PayPal tends to be a little bit more efficient in resolving complaints than going to like the bank, for example. So if you do have PayPal, I recommend that you use PayPal. Also, if you get scammed, by Shein which I know that this has happened to other people in the past it's never happened to me and it hasn't happened to anybody that I know personally but I have seen like one or two videos on YouTube where people ordered on Shein and their orders just never arrived um, for whatever reason whether it was the courier company that screwed up or it was Shein themselves that screwed up but in any case if you use PayPal and your order never arrives most of the time if you go through the correct channels and you're patient enough to follow the pro the procedure of like lodging a complaint etc you can kind of get your money back and then just to kind of help you guys with sizing i'm going to make sure i put my measurements in the description box below so like how many centimeters my bust my hips my waist are uh, etc just to kind of help you gauge as well and then i'll also just link every single item that i'm going to mention in this video in the description box and i'll put the exact size that i bought in that item so i think that that might be quite helpful but the best way to know what size to take is to read the reviews on Shein. The, the sizing on Shein is true. 
it really is true so like you're not gonna buy a 4x and then that time it's the size of like a medium that's not gonna happen i'm a big girl okay i am like oh, 3x no 4x one my nyan and those are the exact sizes that I bought on Shein and they fit me perfectly well, most of them. Um, but I'll put all the details in the, in the description box. I'm not going to mention the prices of the items. If you want the price, you can just click the links. Somebody DM'd me and said, Guba, why don't I put prices? Guys, if I put the link, I'm putting the price. <laughs> you can just click on the link. The first thing you'll see next to the picture is the price of the item. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's get into the actual try on haul. So the very first pair of pajamas I bought are these turquoise blue pajamas. They kind of look like loungewear, but they're actually pajamas. And I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love these. I was so impressed with the fabric, with the stretch, the comfortability, and the color. The color, my darling. Just look how good this color looks against brown skin, okay? I absolutely love these. And I think that these are also like cute enough to wear as loungewear. They're not the type of loungewear that you'd be able to wear outside your house, okay? You don't wear this outside your house. This is house clothes and sleeping clothes. <laughs> but I really, really liked the set. It's really, really comfortable. It's really, really stretchy. And in this particular set of pajamas, I actually got myself a 3XL because when I read in the reviews, the girlies did say that like, it's big, it's stretchy, so like size down one. By the way, I am wearing shapewear underneath all of these pajamas for no particular reason other than the fact that I just wanted to cover my cellulite. I'm not trying to have my cellulite distributed for the internet to view. <laughs> so I am wearing some shapewear, um, but obviously you don't wear shapewear with lingerie and pajamas. But yeah, without the shapewear, these pajamas are a bit looser, you know. But I think they fit really, really well. The top as well is a great fit. The bottoms are a great fit and they both have quite a lot of stretch and i really enjoyed these i would say this was like my second favorite order from this purchase and then the second order that i got were these powder blue or baby blue pajamas so these are cotton pajamas they're not satin i know that this type of design of pajamas is typically satin but these ones aren't actually satin they're cotton and you know what you know what as controversial as this may sound, I actually prefer cotton pajamas, okay? With satin, I, I like a satin nighty, but when it comes to pajamas, girl, I prefer cotton. I really, really like these. Firstly, I just like the design. It's classy. It's giving expensive. I like the color. I like the fact that it's got this white piping down the middle, and the piping is on the collar, down the middle of the, of the pajamas, as well as the arms, and on that little um, cute pocket on the on the left side of the pajamas these pajamas are also like a really really great fit and i got these ones in a size 4xl so i didn't size down the one issue that i do have with the, these pajamas these particular ones that i feel like the booty area is not big enough you know they got the hip to waist ratio right which i appreciate about about shein but the booty section is not big enough girl okay it's not big enough to house everything that she's got going on and so as a result like it's the, 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 the pants are much higher in the front than they are at the back but because you know you wear these when you go to sleep it's okay if you bend over and your man sees a little something it's all right <laughs> but yeah i do think that these can also be worn as like loungewear if it's just you and your man or like you and your family that are at home i do think that these are appropriate for that as well uh but these are mainly pajamas my darling these are mainly pajamas and i think i have the booty issue because like my bum is really big you know it's, it's wide and it's also like it protrudes quite a bit um <laughs> so maybe that's why i have that i have that issue but if your booty is not as big as mine even if you you know with the same size but your booty is not as big as mine girl it's gonna fit okay it's gonna fit you i really really like these i'd say this was my third favorite purchase yeah of uh, out of the pajamas moving along and then this was my absolute favorite pair of pjs which is the ones that i'm wearing now as well but this was my favorite pair of pjs in this entire purchase speak about comfort speak about ease okay speak about a color that looks good on brown skin guys i love these it says here sundays are you sleeping <laughs> 
I think these are so cute. I think these are so, so, so cute. And aside from being cute, they're comfortable. So the pants are like fitted all the way down and then they flip just a little bit at the bottom. And then the top is like a loose t-shirt. But although it's a loose t-shirt, it's not giving A and C. You know what I mean? It's not giving slalang a t-shirt as if as if for menegu kuti bag ye marathon. You know, it's giving cute. It's giving matchy matchy. The color is so vibrant and so bright. Like guys, this color is as nice as it is on camera. Um, I really really love this for the comfortability, for the color, and they got the hair to waist ratio correct. They got the hip to waist ratio correct i get so happy when i find things that fit me at the waist and fit me on the hip and this pajama said whoever made this pajama said they, they understood the assignment for the big girls and i got these ones in a 4xl and sweetheart i recommend these highly highly and then the fourth set of pjs that i got are these cute kind of peachy apricot color with black polka dot pajamas these ones are very similar to the ones that are baby blue though i feel like the baby blue ones fit me a little bit better than these but these ones are also really really nice these ones are not loungewear honey these ones are just pajamas these ones are for the bed okay <laughs> these ones are for the bed so I got these ones in a 4XL as well. So I bought true to size because that is my size, especially in bottoms. So I bought a 4XL and I really, really love these. They also have black piping similar to the baby blue pajamas. They have a piping down the middle. They're not satin, they're cotton, but they've got this piping detail that uh, satin pajamas typically have. And they've got it on the collar, down the middle, um, as well as on the pocket. I really find these so cute. These are giving like, pajama parties with the girls okay maybe they're not the ones that you wear to do to, to to look sexy for your man okay they're giving we're at an airbnb with the girls and we're having a pajama party you know the, the, that's the type of context where you would wear these types of pajamas but i really really like these they're comfortable these ones as well i feel like the booty area is not big enough but you know it's good enough it's good enough i can deal with it and then the final set of PJs that I got, guys, were a little bit of a disappointment. A little bit of a disappointment um, for two reasons. One, I bought the wrong size. I bought them in a 3XL. So I'm a 3XL at the top, but a 4XL at the bottom. And I bought these PJs in a 3XL as opposed to buying a 4XL. And the pants don't fit. I literally probably have to lose like a good 10 kgs in order for these pants to fit me so that was the first reason i bought the wrong size but to be honest that was my fault i, I should have just bought my normal size or like maybe did I, I don't i can't even remember if i read the reviews but nonetheless this is what they look like um as you can see the pants do not fit at all beloved the pants don't fit at all but the other reasons why i felt like these pajamas were a mess was because of the fabric this is not a fabric you la la guys yeah but like i'm gonna try to put a close-up um, but if you can see this fabric, it like ibu kwachu kwachu ibu as well as a track suit, as well as a track suit as ibu kwachu kwachu. That's what this fabric is giving. This is not appropriate for sleeping. I don't know why they would make something like this. Um, they would make pajamas in this type of fabric, but that's why this one was like a real disappointment for me. I still like the color. I like the piping. I think I'm just gonna save them um, and wear them when I've lost a little bit of weight. Um, my friend Unamka also bought the, bought the exact same one. Unamka is like a little bit smaller than I am. So yeah, now the 3XL actually fit her perfectly. So her size is that. Now my size is 4XL. But, but yeah, now she decided that she's not going to use them as um, pajamas. She's just going to use them as lounger because she also agrees with this is not sleeping material. So if you're going to buy these, they're really cute to be quite honest. On Unamka, they look... Unamka is my bestie, by the way. On her, they look... Mwah, chef's kiss but they're not sleeping clothes okay if you want to buy them as loungewear be my guest honey but they are not for sleeping so that's it for the pajamas next let's go on to the loungewear that i purchased so the very first one is this green set it is a matching set and you buy it as a set firstly love the color what love the color guys you know what you know the thing about being a black girl like i feel like every color looks good on us every single color looks good on us and these tracksuits are 
a testament to that <laughs> i was really really nervous about this color but i really like these these are winter time loungewear slash tracksuit this is not something you can wear in the spring beloved or in the summer this material is thick and it is warm and i also appreciate the fact that these tracksuits have like a drawstring so you can tighten them around the waist especially if you're like me where you have like super wide hips and a smaller waist um you can tighten them around the waist just to cinch them in a little bit this jersey or hoodie rather is not cropped so just be aware of that um if you're the kind of girl that likes crop things this is not it it's quite long um but yeah, I think it's a really, really good fit. Similar to my pajamas, I felt like the, the bum area wasn't big enough. But because of the drawstring, I, you can like tie it and cinch it in so that they don't go down when you like bend over or sit down or whatever. But I really, really enjoy these um, loungewear and I recommend them. I also appreciate the fact that you can wear these in the house just to like lounge around on a really cold day but you can also you know like run some errands quickly go to Woolies and get some groceries around the corner in these they're appropriate for that I feel so the final set that I got is this black um, loungewear matching set and this was actually recommended to me by my friend Ukosi and one thing about Unom Kosi Lamini she is a bad bad okay she will wear a crop top she will wear a cropped jersey and when i was showing her some of the lingerie sets that i wanted to get she was like eh, maybe buy this one and you know what i went ahead and bought a girl and i love it i actually love it much more than the green one um though my only qualm though with this particular set is the fact that it doesn't have a drawstring you know what i mean so if you're a person whose waist is even smaller than mine girl this is not gonna work because like you're just gonna be swimming in it you know if you're a person with like really really wide hips like so hips as wide as mine but your waist is smaller than mine these ones are not gonna work but they're really really warm they're not as thick as the green ones you know um but they're still winter time like uh loungewear set this is still a winter time loungewear set you cannot wear this in the summer because this material is thick and i wore this on saturday when i went to go and get uh, like a new relaxer in and absolutely love it absolutely recommend it and also guys while i was filming this video i literally got load shedding <laughs> but luckily this was the last set that i was trying on um hence like the lighting is so so terrible but i just hope that you can still see it as you can see also now that the light is a bit dimmer this tracksuit has a little bit of a shine to it but it's not like it's not like tacky you know it's it's fine it's fine um but yeah i really like these and i recommend them but that is it for today's try on haul ladies i really hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful and i hope that i was able to demonstrate in jay as a plus size girl you don't have to look frumpy in an ANC t-shirt, darling. Moyolala. You can look beautiful. You can look cute in front of your man, for yourself, and even at the girly pajama parties. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody who you know would really appreciate this video and find it useful. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, girl, you see that red subscribe button there at the bottom? Press it, honey. It's free. Okay? I promise it's free. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.